Hi guys, Flight Scott here. Today we are going to look into terminals and we are going to make a journal as well as a small bit of papyrus scripting to give us some caps. I am in the CK already with our mod open. We are in the world objects terminal menu and what we want to do is find a terminal that we like the look of for the model. So you just right click preview and see which one you want. Uh, just when you've chosen which one you want just right click duplicate and rename it with uh, our, our prefix. And I already have this uh, terminal already set up so I've got FCM Terminal 01. This terminal already has some fields set up. We have the welcome text, which I'm, I'm going to clear these out and we will go from the very top. We have the name, which is what will be displayed in the world. So it will just say Terminal Use. I'm going to change that to Shacked Avists Terminal. The header text is used to put some writing across the very top of the screen. It defaults to Rob Co term link, and if you don't put anything in this box, that's what it will say. So I will put in Shacks. Um, I'm just going to call it Shacks. Stuff about Shacks. So the welcome text shows up below the header text. And I haven't seen any in game that actually use this, but it just adds a second line of text under the header text. And what we have in here, we have an option to allow our terminal to have a hollow tape. I'm going to remove the hollow tape. I've I've already made a hollow tape for this terminal, but I'm going to say that there is none in by default. And then we come down to the body text this is what will show up above any buttons so I've just got user logs shactivist signed in and you can put whatever text you want in there and then for menu items these are all just set up as simple display text uh, options so you can see that we've got item text is what the button on the terminal will actually say response text is what is on the bottom of the screen after you click the button so this one will say loading log and we have it set up as display text and this is what will flash up on the screen. Uh, like you can put whatever you want in here. I've just got it so when you click the button, you'll see what the date is, and then just a little bit of writing that somebody's put in. You can also display submenu, which I will show you shortly, and also a papyrus fragment as well this is used for giving yourself items um, starting quests and stuff like that and I will show you what we're going to do with that so that is our base terminal setup and just off the screen here there is a OK button just click that we are done for now with our base terminal so I'm going to not not change its name. I'm gonna 
grab this terminal I'm going to drag it into the world space I built a little shack for this already and just kind of work around these markers and place that in there there we go so we've got a terminal on a desk now and what we're going to do is I'm going to add a sub menu and you can just click new for this one because sub menus aren't actually shown anywhere like but the the actual main terminal so you can't like you don't need to worry about a model or anything like that um, or a name it's just whatever like you just want the body text and menu items and I said we were going to make a cap generator so uh, I'm gonna call it well I'm gonna put some body text in here get rich quick with cap generator and we're going to add some items to this give 100 caps give 500 caps give 1000 caps and these menu items will do absolutely nothing at the moment uh, because they are just buttons they aren't showing a menu they aren't displaying text and what we have to do is we've got to add a bit of pyrus to this to actually get something working but what we want to do is when we click these buttons we want it to refresh the list because if it doesn't refresh the list you have to press back and sometimes it takes you out of the terminal so we do that by clicking force redraw and you can see uh, refresh current list and we just do that for each one of them and at the moment we don't have access to the papyrus uh, fragment so we just click OK again it's just off the screen there and then just reopen it right and to be able to have this sub menu give us caps we want to find caps in the in the menus uh, in these categories which are under items just somewhere in here items misc item we've got caps 001 and what we want to do in our papyrus uh, fragment is click properties and click add property and for the type we want to set it to misc object this name can be anything that we want and what happens is like if I was to put in um, just like given item I would have to click edit value and find my caps but since I know it, this will only be used for caps if I put in here the name as caps 001 it will automatically point to this misc object and then I don't have to worry about it so I can see that it's already picked up the fact that we've got caps and now we are set up to be able to make this actually give us caps so there is um, quite a lot of references um, for papyrus on the creation kit website and it's fairly easy to follow but for this we are just doing something really simple which is game dot get player brackets dot add item brackets and we want to use our property which is caps 001 
and we want it to give 100 caps and click compile it will freeze for a second and then you can see that we can actually recompile again um, as long as it doesn't come up saying something failed we are good to go I'll just do this for 500 click compile and 1000 click compile and then we can just find our button at the bottom again click OK and we want to go back to terminals and come back into our main terminal and since we've already got our log files I'm going to right click inside menu items and click new give it a, uh, the button some text we we'll call it cap generator and loading can't even spell loading loading cap generator and since we wanted to actually show a submenu we've got submenu selected and if we type FCM and find our submenu FCM terminal 01 sub 01 and what that will do is if we click cap generator it will load up our other menu so click OK that's our terminal all set up it's in the world but what we want to do is come into holotape I've already made a holotape for this um, so if I just double click it I can see Shaktivist journal it is pointed to FCM terminal 01 it's got the sounds and stuff already and if I just press OK I'm gonna take this holotape and I'm gonna drop it on the desk hopefully uh, that worked pretty well so the terminal itself will have what's on this holotape so if I wanted to I could show this in the pip boy as well I'm gonna save the plugin and then I'm gonna jump into game and we'll see our fancy new terminal we're in game now this is my little shack that I've made so I'm gonna go into it I've left the door open apparently there we have our holotape I'm gonna pick that up and our terminal the Shaktivist terminal click on that and we can see our logs and as you can see we've got shacks stuff about shacks at the top and the um, user logs and Shaktivist signed in and on the bottom we have a cap generator if I click on that give 100 caps give 500 give 1000 and we've got get rich quick with cap generator so if I click give 100 caps you can see that it adds the 100 caps and it also reloads the, the page same with 500 and 1000 and as you can see across the bottom there is an option to load holotape so I can just drop in any holotape that I want and that's it for this video guys thanks for watching cheers bye